Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're back here at the Alton Towers Resort for our annual shops and merchandise tour. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go around all the shops and show you all the merchandise that the park has on offer for this season. We always cover it a little bit in our opening day vlog, however it's become an annual tradition now to do this, head round and show you in detail what there is. We'll look at the different items, show you the prices from all of the shops and of course this year there is a brand new shop over in Gloomy Wood, the Attic of Antiquities which of course is at the exit to the curse at Alton Manor the new dark ride for this year it's a very heavily themed shop so we'll take a closer look in there today as well so just before you come you can see all the stuff that you can buy when you come down here yeah definitely and if you haven't already make sure you check out our review from the new attraction the curse at Alton Manor it's now online on our YouTube channel and also our opening day vlog taking you around showing you all the rides and of course um, bringing you all of the latest updates as well lots of shops to see here in the park and we're gonna start off with the biggest of them all which is located here on Towers Street. You can see it there just behind us. It's Towers Trading Company. And in here you've got all sorts of different items. So um, clothing, mugs. Along with that there's a large sweet selection in here as well. We love the sweets. Oh, it smells so <laughs> it nice does. as you go in. So we're going to start off in Towers Trading. We'll make our way then into CBeebies Land because obviously you've got the shop in there as well. And then of course make our way around the rest of the park. Let's go for a tour. And here's the entrance to the shop just over here as well. Worth pointing out that a great time to actually come and do your shopping in Towers Trading is on a morning or in the middle of the day because at the end of the day it gets very busy in here. And obviously on a morning, which it is now, everybody just wants to go and get on the rides, don't oh, they? Oh, night. It's all down here. It just gets so busy. Yeah, the good thing is though, they do limit people coming into the shop. That's something that started really during COVID and they've kind of kept it, but it makes it a more pleasurable shopping experience, oh, it doesn't it? so nice when you come here. It's so good. <laughs> oh, it does. Yeah. All your bags of sweets and things down the bottom just here of course all your twill bites all that kind of stuff oh yeah chocolate bars one pound 20 this year and yeah pick and mix is obviously a big uh, part of the theme park experience and yeah you can see the price of pick and mix this year eight pounds just over here as well I love the pick and mix. yeah we'll have a look at the size of the cups just to see if they those change a bit oh they've gone smaller have they for this year look at this empty in the shop at this time of the day <laughs> on a weekday I don't know if they've just made them more round or small. I think I don't they look know. a lot smaller. Yeah, they do look a bit smaller, they do don't they, smaller. those? But yeah, you can get those just there, of course, look for eight pounds. Choice. Large tub. Yeah, they used to do the small tubs as well. They don't do them anymore. Yeah, large pick and mix tubs are available just here. But yeah, really nice how they've got um, quite a large selection in here as well. Yeah, it's quite well themed down here in the bottom part of the shop, actually. I do like all the smaller details. <laughs> Let's have a look further up, shall we? Get all your like plushies. So much going on, big lizards. That's the thing with all the shops here. Not all of them sell Alton Towers branded items. They've got like all your TY teddies and that sort of stuff here as well. Big slot. And unique items. In fact, one of my favourite shops at Alton Towers <laughs> <laughs> has always been Katanga Cargo because they have some really unique gifts up there. Yeah, He's massive. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have lots of unique things in there, which is really good. Yeah, this bottom section is all about the kind of uh, plushies and all the sweets. And then of course you make your way up to this section just here which has got all of your theme park merchandise and ride related items as well starting off with these new items for this year here. these are embroidery which is really good so it means that they'll last longer yeah i really like these black and white just here as you can see very nice what sort of price have we got 45 pounds that is now of course now is the time to mention as well you do get 20 percent discount if you have got an annual pass as well yeah, so Quite good. Yeah, so it's a, a, a worth oh, getting the annual passes yeah. for your discount. Yeah, this is nice with the t-shirt and obviously you've got the gold stripe down the side and on the front just there as well. Priced at £25. I do like the fact we're seeing a lot more embroidered merchandise. It is a lot better quality um, than just the printed on stuff, which nice we do really pattern. like. Oh, there you go. Very blue. £15. I quite like that. And again, it's embroidered on the front. It's quite good I, I like how big the logo is yeah, just on there. Alton Towers Monopoly is on sale just it over here. Yeah, it was 35 for that just there, as you can see. Of course, you've got the wonderful Tower Street music playing in the background there as well. Nice mug set on sale for £22.50. Yeah, these are actually some of my least favourite mugs. Yeah, I actually really like them, to be honest. They're a nice, good size. I quite like them. Yeah, I, I'm just not too sure on the... Um, different, aren't just they? with them being a white background I and like just the them. logos. They're very different. They're not they my favourites. I prefer the more embossed mugs yeah. that, that you can get here. Nice fridge magnet here. I do like the fridge magnets. There you go. Let's have a closer look at that. 
There you go, all the details on there, and of course, still got Nemesis on. Worth pointing out that, you know, anything that has still got the Nemesis name on and that logo, yeah. you know, it could be really rare in the future because we don't know. There's, uh, you know, Nemesis could be having yeah. some additions to the name, such as maybe Reborn, um, and also an updated logo, possibly. Like a retro one in yeah, the yeah, definitely. We yeah, have all sorts of top trumps you can get. Your top trump cars are, are eight pounds down here, if you like those. These are nice <laughs> new bears, aren't they? 16 pounds. The very logo soft. looks a bit different on there. It's got more gold round yeah. the side just over there, hasn't it? But yeah, yeah, of course, like coming pink. 100% recyclable as well, which Huggable, is nice. They've been made from toys. recyclable items. 59% less energy. Yeah. That's really good. Isn't yeah, it's it? an important thing. I do like these. I've had these for yeah. a while now, but I do like these embroidered on the front just there. Price at 22 pounds, so a little bit less. Than the other new no, ones I that they had. I love both of these water bottles. <laughs> hey. This one's my favourite. This is ten pound. Very nice. But I do also like this one as well. The jumbo bottle. Eight pounds. That one is. I prefer that one actually. I like and it's less. Both. I like them both. I really do. They're very nice. <laughs> these are quite cute, aren't they? With the big yeah. eyes staring at you just here. We got a got a price on these, have we? That's yeah. the thing. Some things are priced yeah. on them, and then other times they have like a little sticker oh, on the front. To your arm. There is you it? Go, and then it oh, stays on right. your arm. <laughs> <laughs> it stays there. Nothing. Uh, I'm just trying to see if we've got, we got a price. It's the one thing that does annoy me, oh, like when things aren't Oh, there we go, up there. It's like it needs more of them though, like it's putting about here, doesn't it? Which would be good. Towels. These towels are nice. There you These go. These are new for 2023. Pounds. These are fantastic. That's the sort of oh, that's print. the full pattern, is it, on, yeah. the, on the back? It's a bit dark. Lots of rise on there. Good to see Nemesis on there still it as is, well. Which is good. Even though that's new merch for this year, when the new Nemesis was going to be closed, it still features on there, which is really Love good. This yeah, it's quite really nice, nice, isn't it? And it's embroidered as well, which is great. This is £35. Very nice. Look at the Nice the logo. and subtle, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it's really good. really good, that. Got the t-shirts there as well. I absolutely love these resins just here. And yeah, they're out of stock for quite a while, so it's nice to have them back in. £15 for the Alton Towers resin, and they are beautiful, these, aren't nice they? Nice I think these would look nice on a shelf, which is nice. Oh, yeah, I do like the resin collection. Probably my favourite thing now, actually. Um, I used to really like the mugs here, but I don't think the mugs are as good as they used to be. Um, so I think the resins are probably the best thing to collect, in my opinion, from here now. I say that about mugs, though. Like this, this one's one. quite nice. This is one of my favourites, £12. I think this is really nice. It's got the logos around the outside as well. Yeah, and even the smaller ones are embossed on yeah, there as well. That's a really nice mug. Mm, yeah, I do like that. You've got yeah. your trophy, your ride trophy, eight pounds. Classics just there as well. The trophies look better than they used to. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, even yeah. to Alton Towers. But yeah, very nice. Notebooks like the down notebooks. there. 15 pounds for that. And it's just got like the print going through, which is nice. I'm not a massive fan of these ones. Yeah, the ride mug, yeah, I think it's the colour. Yeah. Hasn't turned out the best, it like the bronze well, colour on there. But yeah, it's 12 pounds for the mug. Nice pattern at the bottom though, with uh, lots of your Alton Towers rides on. Again, Nemesis heavily featured on there as well. Yeah, some very nice bits here. Like I say, Towers Train is your biggest shop. I like these here actually. These are quite nice, you know, for the kids. Well, my first roller coaster at Alton Towers, and um, that's seven pounds. And they've got the lanyards, which with are the five pounds. Holder at the bottom. Put your annual pass and yeah. things in those as well, Good. which is fantastic. Well, we do absolutely love these, and they're on sale yeah, now I as think well. That's a really good price, twenty-eight pounds. Yeah, I suppose because it's got twenty-twenty-two oh, on yeah, there from I last year. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they there. probably shouldn't have put the year on there, but they are very nice. Yeah, sale I'll rail. The first, fifteen pounds. There you go. Interesting how they're selling that off because it hasn't got a, a date on, has no, it? It hasn't. Quite interesting. Got there all we the go. October Fest T-shirts on sale. Yeah, maybe they're having a, a new range. That's nice, isn't it? Because it is embroidered as yeah, well. Yeah, with the actual October Fest. Yeah, sale rail. Get it now before it's gone. Something that I don't think is going to sell anytime <laughs> soon because this has not looked any different since it came in last year, um, is the awesome merch that they sell across the Merlin Parks and the annual pass holder merchandise. It's all on sale and I can see why, to be honest. Some of my least favorite merchandise that they've done the annual pass stuff, in my opinion. I don't like it's, it's, it it's not great, is it? No, just the whole kind of color scheme of it and, and that sort, sort of thing. I gone down the Disney route and <laughs> yeah. think it's like a spirit jersey and stuff like that, but it just yeah. it has not worked. It, yeah, it's not, not quite the same, is it? With you, the Merlin logo and yeah, stuff on the front, yeah. Like people like the park branded stuff don't they you know not so much the uh, the annual pass stuff but yeah you can see all the t-shirts here i'm just i'm just not keen on, on no, this style here like at it. all got, yeah, yeah i think a lot of people feel the same and that's you know they, 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 i don't think they can shift this stuff no. to be honest like <laughs> you know great. yeah definitely uh, seven pound for the mug there we go 
um, you've got all the awesome merch and like I say they sell this across the parks because um, it's got a mix of kind of everything on there like logos from like you've got stealth on there yeah, they are, they're they're not are, amazing, it's different. Fun. I'm not a huge, huge fan. I like the park individual branded stuff. I think they've got some really nice merch, but yeah, yeah this awesome stuff and the and the annual pass merchandise isn't some of my favourites. And we're here in the top section of Towers Trading now, and there's loads of new merchandise, lots of new clothes for this year, yeah, and these. <laughs> It's quite cute, but I'm not a massive fan of it. <laughs> the monkeys, they come in three different sizes, we've been told as well. So you've got small, medium, and then your large. So at least you've got a good like price range between them. Yeah, like if you've got a certain amount of money and you love the smile, you could just buy this one. Yeah, so definitely. Big size. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I like the big ones actually down here. There he is. <laughs> I like how he's got ha 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 on his ears just there as well. Yeah, I do quite like him. Smile always there on his foot. And of course the Smiler logo. 10 years of the Smiler this year as well. Birthday coming up in May. Um, Festival of Thrills got a big focus on the Smiler as well this year. Um, so yeah, it's really good to see that. And we're looking forward to it. It's a shame the Smiler isn't looking its best at the moment, as we mentioned in our vlog from the really opening day. Yeah, definitely. I love this. I think this is really good. It reminds me a little bit of the staff uniform, actually, yeah. with the colour scheme really and nice the quality. Really soft material. I really like that. Yeah, I 45. Great. I like this as well, to be honest. Which is 40. Another nice one, very vibrant. Smile always, all embroidered in, and same with the logo at the top, which Got is fantastic. And stuff at the bottom. Trophies, resins there Resin. as well. Yeah, I do you like the resins? I like the new hats. Resins are twelve pounds, and the hats just there are fifteen. I like those. Yeah. I like the yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one's great. Yeah. I like the yellow one. There you go. Are you going round the park in that? So nice. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, so, so, the soon going to spot you around the park. I really like that. Yeah, not a fan of this one because it's very dark. You can't really see, see it. it but you? some people like the more subtle things. T-shirts, great these there. Bags, these are new as well. Yeah, they're really nice. Oh, no the big bags and these are glow in the dark just here as well with the the big rucksacks just there which is fantastic yeah lots of new stuff some other bits here with the branding on the front as well the here. yeah it's, <laughs> it's nice that really nice and obviously the same as on the top and down here 22 pounds for these just here with the three different colors on there and 25 pounds for these at the top new mug for the smiler here as well there you go 12 pounds for that one that's really cool smile always on there as well it's not like your standard mug, mug shape yeah i do like that along with the ones i've had for a couple of years now at the top just there as well yeah really good to see that's the <laughs> section for the smiler loads going on oblivion right next door resins just here as well yeah 12 pounds for the resins i do like those not my favorite oblivion one that they've done over the years but um still it's nice yeah what we got we got the monkey there again. we go but i also like the ride cap which is nice. yeah fantastic they are quite cute actually. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a big fan not a big fan of the monkeys i do like the cap though i like that it's at the top there it's got the logo certainly on the side 15 well. pounds that reminds me of like the old school staff, like yeah. staff uniform from back in the day when you know all ride staff used to have themed uniforms and they've been bringing that back these past few years which is good nice new oblivion mug here you go all the patterns on there with the pounds. chevrons as well which is good to Quite see like that. Mm -hmm. there's lots of new stuff there lots is. of new clothes lots of new mugs this is the classic one they've had for a while now which i do like as one. well with the chevrons i still think i probably prefer that one but yeah good section for oblivion over there and of course they've got the area for the kids over here as well with the smaller shirts for the smiler and 13 just here yeah these are quite nice aren't they quite cute 15 pounds for those galactica little hoodie over there wicker man one as well scarf there's so much in here isn't there like really fill it out this shop so much going on hat just there 12 pounds yeah scarf's great on a cold day notepad there as well fluffy pen <laughs> yeah three pound fifty for a fluffy pen for the smiler yeah lots going on it's so colorful this section isn't it so for five pounds you've got a variety of key rings and magnets here as well including the oblivion one there this very fluffy one <laughs> smile always that's quite nice isn't it very jazzy and that's the good thing here you know they're very good when it comes to catering for all prices when it comes to the merchandise for everybody. yeah there is i'll tell you what i won't spin that yeah. it feels like it's going to tip all over These i'll walk good, around it's like a hologram you belong to the smiler I like that yeah these are all five, five pounds. pounds got the big face just on here as well that spins round. there you go lots of great merch lots of really good stuff so far i'm thinking merchandise has improved on last year we said last year we didn't reckon much to some of the newer bits no, wasn't a huge fan but this year there's some really good bits yeah over to wicker man just here i mean we'll head into wicker man shop 
um, shortly as well. But yeah, you've got the very angry bear down here. Five years of Wicker Man, bigger bear down there. At first you wouldn't think it was Wicker Man, but then you look at his foot just here, and it's on the bottom there, and also the scarf going around him is there as well, which has got all the Bjorn kind of branding on there. They are growing on me. <laughs> They're growing on you, are liking these, aren't you? They've had these for a long time now, and I do like them. Shirts. Yeah, you can see the ride there on the front. Wicker Man himself, Big Bob. That these is are priced. £25. Pounds. There you go. Bucket hats. These are brand new here. Love these. Embroidered on the front. Fantastic. £50. It's pounds. Oblivion vibes at the it side. does on the side, but I do like how it's embroidered. It I'm really liking on, the quality of them. Bucket hats, 15 I'd rather pay a bit more for merch and have it better quality. You know, that's the thing. Resins are great over here. I mean, look at this, £12 again. That's Wicker Man resin. All right. These are just a great thing to collect. I'm so glad that Alton Towers have kept doing these because they're just really good memories from your day out at the park, which is fantastic. Trophy here as well. I have pockets. Really handy because if you want to put your phone and stuff in there, you can do and keep it secure on the rides with the zip, um, which is good as well. The bags, I think they've sold these for quite some time now as well. Um, but yeah, I do like the bags, £20 for those as you can see at the top that's why it's nice to do a full in-depth tour because just a couple of minutes at the end of the opening day vlog well, like we just used to for the there's season so there's that much to see it? and obviously it really helps you plan you know what you're wanting to come and buy when you're out here at the parks the light up globe 22 pounds down the bottom there as well very nice and, and a new mug there as well new for 2023 oh, yeah, some new bits. I feel like there's some new bits from Saturday actually in here. Yeah, I don't remember seeing some. No, some very nice bits. I like how the flames start at the bottom like and, the and raise up. Yeah, there's really 20 good. pounds just behind Charlotte there. Not a massive fan just of that. Just printed on. I think it looks good, but I, I think for me it looks more like pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> or is that what it's supposed to be? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. What have we got down oh, no, here? These are the pajamas. There you go. <laughs> We come on, be chosen. Love that. As you can see, yeah, I do like those. Maybe I need to get some of them for sit in our museum at the Wickerman fireplace <laughs> with all of those yeah, bits. Yeah, some, some great there. bits. So it's the 13 section. Yeah, it's 13 years old this year. It was its birthday just the other day, actually. I quite like that. If you don't know what the name of the ride is, you will do after you looking at that shirt. Now. Yeah. <laughs> How much is that one? It is. 20 pounds on 20 there. 20 pounds, that's nice. Or your lanyards. That's the thing, a lot of the rides have similar things like the lanyards. People who got 13 is the favourite ride. Another new mug. They've updated all the mugs. They've kept some of the That's classics, really but one. yeah, there's some really, the mugs are a lot better. I prefer these to them ones that you can get oh, in the yeah. pack. That's way better. Got the wraith on the back. Oh, and the eye as well. I've not yeah. seen that. That was like used like in the, the marketing of the ride all, that, all them years ago. 13 years ago. Of course, you've got the one here more with the, the branch on the side. There as oh, it's well. It's got the train on there. Yeah, that's great. What a fantastic! Oh, I love that. That's really good. The Intamin Beauty. I like that. Great merch for thirteen, forty-five pounds. There is some fantastic stuff, and it's great to see merch has took a big kind of. You know, they've really improved it at the parks over the past few years. That's fantastic. Of course, you've got the jumper down there as well. The knitted jumper. Forty pounds. Which is forty pounds, thirteen, and, nice and on the edge there. It says, if you go down to the woods today, does it say you better not go alone on the on other the side other or side. not? I'm guessing it does. Oh no, no it doesn't. doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it would. Look at this fantastic resin just there. There you go. Brilliant resin there for 13. The race on the top, kind of a replica of the entrance to the ride. Um, and then the actual train with the track on there as well. You've got the classic hoodie as well. I think they've sold these for a very long time since the ride opened, um, or a similar one, 40 pounds. The 13. It's got some fantastic branding, hasn't it? Yeah, we've got the cushions. These are nice. And you've got the bedding set. Yeah, I own the cushion. I do like the cushion. I've got one of those. Single duvet bedding set. Yeah, have they got the double somewhere as well, maybe? Um, Possibly. I can only see single, but I'm sure... That, oh, no, it is just single. Yeah, £35 for those. Notepad there. There we go. We've got a few little Nemesis bears just over here as well. <laughs> Not really a full Nemesis section, but there's still a few Nemesis bits about. The resins there as well. Like I say, it might be worth picking up some of this. I think we're probably going to see a refresh to the logo, maybe even the name or addition to the name next year. Wouldn't surprise me. And of course, you can pick up the John Wardley book, Creating My Own Nemesis, and a lovely book by Michael Fisher uh, about Alton Towers past and present, going into the history of the building. Some great new magnets this year. I like the Wickerman one. Yeah, everything you see on here is on five pounds. Really good. Oh, classic Jewel. Jewel, uh, still on sale just today. Still pick up a bit of merch from Jewel just there. And the fridge magnet. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't a bad logo for Jewel, was it? it? Kind of with the, with the target. 
13. Let's have a look. I'll let you open it up. There you <laughs> yeah, go. Get in. Oh, we got the eye in there as well. That's good. Yeah, loads of new bits around, which is really good to see. Fantastic. Let's make our way over into the next section. All about Rita, and Rita's had a few new bits as well. I think every ride has had some new bits for this year, which is fantastic to see. So just a new cap just up there, 15 pounds. Very nice, I like that. New mug. I think I prefer the old one. Yeah, like the big um, kind of bolt that's that, that, that like is. That's more tyres, isn't it? Yeah, that's tyres, that's a, a, big, a big bolt. That's more the old theme for Rita, yeah, isn't it? it like, is, yeah. you know, when it was the Queen of Speed, tires. the bear with all the, <laughs> all the Rita logos on. The monkeys, yeah, like everywhere. More. Yeah, loads of stuff. Not a fan of these ones, you know, it's just the, really the, it the flat logo. But if it is for you, it's 20 pounds, as you can see there. The one with the logo on, that, that's new, I think. I've not seen that one before. 25 pounds, there's a lot more new stuff than last year, definitely. This is quite nice, actually. More subtle, because not everybody wants a big logo plastered on. So this is quite nice, actually, and it is embroidered. It's very subtle. I, 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 I do quite like that, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's just a little bit different. Trophies available over there. And there's a small Galactica section over here at the end as well. We've had these hoodies for a while now. Quite nice with the, um, the shuttle just on there as well. Top speed established 3,016 instead of 2,016. 40 pounds for that just there. And at the bottom, you've got the T-shirt, which is 20 pounds. The monkeys appeared again. Monkeys back. Resins, these are great. The resins have come a long way as well. I remember collecting the original ones back in the day and they've come a long way with all the details on there. And yeah, you've actually got the craft itself coming through the middle, which is really good to see. Another new mug. Yeah, I like that I like one. That. Very go. good. Yeah, fantastic. 12 pounds for the mug. As we can see just over there, yeah, some really nice bits for Galactica. And they're still selling the retro merchandise here as well, such as this one with the black hole, 1984, opening year for that indoor roller coaster. And yeah, it closed in 2005, 25 pounds for that one. Like and that. the good news is, we're gonna be getting a new indoor roller coaster here at Alton Towers in the foreseeable future, set to open probably in 2025. Katanga Canyon, 1992 there, very nice to see. Got a price on that one? I can't see one unless there is on one of the other ones just there. The flume. Oh, all of the classics. The classic. There you go. Look I'm at guessing that. they're all sort of the same. Price, yeah, probably so. <laughs> and the corkscrew there as well, which is very nice. 1980, of course, the ride that made Alton Towers the part that it is today. Over to the pin badges now. So they're eight pounds for the standard ones, and then the Smiler Deluxe badge is ten pounds. If we can find the Smiler Deluxe wherever it is. <laughs> there we go. The Smiler. Deluxe, I wonder why that's more, but I'm there it is. Sure. It looks quite deluxe, doesn't it? But is it worth yeah. the extra £2? I'm yeah. not too sure. <laughs> we have pin badge selection, oh, loads badges. of great pins just here. Galactica. Battle Galleons, there you go, that's everyone's favourite interactive water rides. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of pins, I know people love them. Wicker Man just there, Shark Bait Reef. Hex. Well, that's a nice new one for Hex, I isn't like it? The Hex one. Well, that's quite fancy. I like that a lot. It's really good. Rita so with the train on there. That's Wicker nice Man for Wicker Man. It is, yeah, I like that. A little that. bit different, is. which is good. Yeah, loads of pins. Oblivion, don't look down there. Another 13 pin, Galactica. Sharp bait, Reed. They've got pins for a lot of the attractions. Nothing yet for the Curse of Alton Manor. Yeah, there isn't. I think we're going to be probably seeing one at some point, I'd imagine so. But yeah. What a great selection. Also worth pointing out as well, they've got these in a few of the different shops, but they've got the personalized items that you can do as well. So yeah, literally you can press on the screen and then you can have all of these and put your name on. So you can do like Rita, Sharp Bait Wreath, uh, the Smiler as you can see there, 13, Galactica, uh, Congo River Rapids. There's all sorts that you can do. Um, yeah, the mugs, notebooks, all that kind of the stuff. Hotels. Yeah, like they've got these everywhere, including up at the hotels as well. But yeah, you can do them for all these different rides. Um, just here, which is really nice actually, including the curse at Alton Manor, the new attraction. And yeah, you can personalize them, which is great, and have Emily Alton on there as well. Yeah, I do like these. There's some more of those items over on this side as well. As you can see, yeah, they are really good for personalized are, items. Like yeah, fantastic. Not badly no, no, I don't think so at all. You can get your Cadbury's Dairy Milk branded chocolate here as well, as you can see, five pounds for the Beautiful. chocolate bar just there. Obviously Alton Towers work with Cadbury as a sponsor and yeah, they've got these custom bars here at the park, which is good to see. 
So much new things to see here in Towers Trade, and loads of new merchandise for this year. And we love this, what we thought was a Wicker Man mug, but it's, it's not, not, is it's it? It's a pen pot to put <laughs> pens in. Yeah, really different. I, mean, <laughs> I guess you could use it as a mug if you wanted to, but it does say in there, but recommended for pens, yeah, doesn't I don't it? Know if you'd be able there to. you go, maybe it's not safe for that. Maybe you're just having water or soft drinks or something. You might but, be okay. Yeah, yeah, probably wouldn't put hot drinks in it, uh, probably because of how you can hold it, maybe with the handles, yeah. and deeming it not safe as a mug, maybe. But very nice, like with the effects on there, looks, of course, just like the ride. We have 15 pounds for that. We have loads to see here in Towers Trading. Uh, yeah, it's the best shop, but like I say, it does get heaving. It's so quiet in the daytime, but yeah, at the end of the day, it gets very busy. So if you want a good look round, I would recommend coming in in the daytime. And just before we head into our next shop for a look round, here's a look at some of the ride socks that they've got as well. Seven pounds for the Smiler and also Wicker Man there as well. Of course, you can get all your ponchos, umbrellas in here as well. Compact umbrellas, 12 pounds. Toddler ponchos, six pounds. Children's, seven pounds. And adult ponchos, nine pounds like this year. Umbrellas. Yeah. Always like these. Umbrella is fantastic, isn't it? With all the branded on just there not as well. Not too sure how much they are. Though. Yeah, not sure on the pricing. I do wish to make the pricing clearer, you know, in places. Like there's some areas where, you know, every year we come and do this and it's you hard to see the, the price. price. You know, it should be there right in front of you to see. But yeah, all your nemesis scarves and gloves. Loads Magic of great gloves. stuff. Magic gloves. <laughs> right, we'll make our way back out onto Tower Street. We're going to head now down into CBB's land. But yeah, that's the biggest shop in there. Very impressed with the new merchandise for this year. And like we said just when we was inside Towers Traded, the quality of the items is really good. Like most things now, clothing wise, are embroidered, which is fantastic. The biggest one of them where you're doing the embroidered clothing just means it's going to last so much longer. When it's just like the printed on, it doesn't last that long. Yeah, I don't mind paying a bit more for better quality exactly. stuff. But no, it's really good that Alton Towers have took that on these past few years. Loads of new mugs, loads of new clothing this year, some so new much. resins. Really, really impressive what there is in Towers so Trading. Yeah, I think it's probably the best merchandise selection in quite a few years, actually, in my opinion. Now, I've had a good look round. Saturday, it was only a quick look. We were that busy, but now I've had a good look round. Um, fantastic. Really, nice really impressed. But yeah, we're going to head over into CBeebies Land now and have a look at the shop in there. So let's go and head inside the Little Explorers Toy Shop and have a look at some of the merchandise. There's an offer in here. Very vibrant, colourful shop inside here. All the balloons. And yeah, let's have a little look round. Oh, we've got some sale items in here as well. 30% off mark price on selected CBeebies clothing, as you can see. Yeah, I do like the branded stuff for the areas just there, for the little ones. CBeebies land, of course, you've got Bugby Go Round just there as well. Get Set Go just over there. I believe CBeebies themselves have actually updated the branding a couple of weeks ago and they've changed like the bugs now apparently so it'll be interesting to see if there's any changes to the area all the merch. I like this with the clock tower on though which is really nice. Now as expected from a shop of this nature the items aren't specific to the CBeebies land but of course they are based on all the different characters in here. But yeah you've got things like with Bing on just there. You know more about CBeebies than I do I think. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> just over here. Hey Dougie just here. And obviously most of the items that are in here are based around the characters on the different rides stick. that you can see just there. Is that what the stick song's from, yeah, is it? Like stick, 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 yeah. Stick, stick, stick. <laughs> oh, you get a Hey Dougie costume. What about that, Charlotte? Oh, that's cute. You dress up just over there. You know, and as expected from a shop like this, things aren't cheap. I mean, you go to any of these themed areas like Thomas Land at Drayton Manor, you know, CBeebies Land here, Nickelodeon Land at Pleasure Beach, Peppa Pig at Paltons Park. You know, you're going to pay more it's for this sort of stuff. It's a CBeebies yeah, brand. It's a brand. Do. Yeah. And that's expected, isn't it, really, from a from a brand of this nature, so to speak. But yeah, there's some really nice bits around. You can get a bit of a general idea from the prices and of like the plushies and things around here. But it's a very nice shop. I do like how you've got the little balloons up there as well, which is really good. Great effect. Teletubbies over here as well. A bit of special delivery service. And we're going to be filming a full CBeebies Land tour, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I prefer all this kind of stuff, you know, where you've actually got the branding of the park on, like the bug toy that you can see there. The £10.50 for the small one, uh, £18 for your large bug. Wearing a little hat. Large bug, I like large how they just call it that. Bug. you got chatty bug, large bug. But are they going to change these? Because apparently they're more square now. I mean, maybe more people who are watching this know more than I do about it, but you probably do. 
But yeah, I heard they've done a bit of a rebrand. But yeah, there's some nice bits here in the CBB shop. There's a bit of a general walk around just to show you. They've got things for all the characters in here. Uh, and yeah, some actual custom stuff as well that relates to the land, such as the backpack just here that's got the entrance on with the trees. £15. I look there around the CBB's land shop. And yeah, I do like the more custom merchandise to the area that you can find in there as well. Yeah, I just like the CBB's books with little hats on and stuff like that. We're down here in X sector now. Let's go and have a look inside by the Smiler. And here we are then inside the shop. And yeah, let's have a little look around and see what they've got in here. Obviously, Towers Trading has got a collection of merchandise from all across the park. And you'll notice quite a few items in here that can be found in Towers Trading. But there is still some specific parts as well um, that you can't get down there. I mean, I didn't spot these, for example, down yeah, there. The yeah, the Smiler double duvet set just up here, which is £40, and the single ones, which are £30. They're quite nice. Yeah, yeah look at them. £12. And that's a good thing, obviously. Towers Trading is the biggest shop, and it's got a great variety, but it doesn't have everything from every single shop, you know, so it's nice to come around and have a look and see what there is. Jigsaw puzzle there for the Smiler as well. That's good. Pin badge, yeah, I like that. Pounds. Upside down mug, obviously we saw that one. Down in Towers Trading, you can get the space hoppers in here, look. There you go, fancy a space hopper, £10. <laughs> Storage cubes are quite good down here, £8 for those. Do quite like them, actually. They might come in handy for a museum, a little collection. There's the space hopper actually blew up. Just over there, so you can see it as well. <laughs> Space Hopper. Glow in the dark. Buy the bucket hats just here as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy faces on there. In marmalise. It's a very good shop, and that's another great reason for coming around and doing this video to show you the details in the shop itself. Because um, here in the Smiler, you've got all the CCTV cameras, of course, um, which is all kind of part of the theme of the ride. But they're actually lights, as you can see. And then you've got a video that plays in here as well, which is good. Kind of like the Smiler Shop TV. Um, and yeah, it's kind of giving you all different information about the storyline. It's all very crazy, a bit like your shopping channels that you see on TV, but they've all gone a bit mad, a bit crazy, um, which kind of adds to the theme of this ride just in here. We have a lot of this merchandise with the new clothing, of course, we saw down in the Tower of Trade, as you can see. Got the hoodie with the <laughs> across the front just there as well. £45 is embossed. That's quite nice, the tote the bag. The shopper bag down there. No price. £4. Pounds. Oh, yeah, there £4 you go, it's on the front just there. I think I like some that. things have got the price on there. So on there. Yeah. I still think though, in my opinion, every item should have a price you individually tagged. Price price, just in case you don't see that at the home. Yeah, yeah, I think so, you know. Obviously you've got the hats down here or your classic items down there as well. Some Oblivion merch down in here as well because obviously Oblivion doesn't have a shop anymore. I mean it used to and it's you still kind of walk through it, but it's not no longer a shop, which is a shame. All your clothing over here. I wish they sold these banners actually. I love these banners. Like they could sell a lot of those. People would pay a fortune for the banners. Yeah, more of the clothing. Pretty sure we've already seen all of that already over there. Comes the clothing. But yeah, it's nice here in the smiler shop. We've got one of the personalised gift stands over here as well. And smile always on just there, 12 pounds. I like the space hopper personally. Yeah. I like the space hopper. They do sell Alton Towers posters. They don't have them in here, but they do sell them um, in some of the shops as well, which is really good. Did we see any of them in Towers Trade? Yeah, no, we did. See yeah, they, oh, they used to sell them. Maybe they're not anymore. Of course, you've got the accessibility access just here as well with the lift up to the Smiler Station here in the shop as well. And one of the personalised gifts just over here as well that you can get. And that's by the Smiler. I do love the merchandise and the branding for the Smiler and it's some of the most popular merch at Alton Towers as well. People love that ride and love the colour scheme of it. I think it's one of them where new merch comes out, people just love the Smiler and just buy it all. Yeah, definitely. There's some really good stuff in there and buy the Smiler. <laughs> right, we're going to head round the back of the Towers now up to the world of David Walliams. Have a look in the shop that's at the exit to Gangster Granny the Ride. Uh, that's the only shop behind the Towers still. Still not one down in Dark Forest. Obviously, they used to have one for Rita oh, and 13. Oh, I used to really like that. They need to bring a shop back down that Yeah, way. I'm surprised to there isn't just some way you know to go in and get some merch for those rides but obviously you can get it all in towers trading anyway I'll tell you what though i've missed these really quiet offbeat days look at this it's really quiet really yeah. quiet in the park fantastic these weekdays are i have missed them so much over winter and we've just come off gangster grind of the ride straight here into wally bum's way let's have a look 
inside the shop just here, which is actually really quirky, this shop, because, yeah, there's loads of stuff absolutely everywhere, and that is the intention of it in here, to fit with Gangster Granny, and of course, the book's written by Davy Walliams. But yeah, there's so many little things in here, and quite a lot of Easter eggs as well, um, towards other attractions. And yeah, there's all sorts of sweets and stuff in here, and of course, you've got things like this. I was part of the heist just there as well, like Roger's deal, uh, buy one, get none free, all these, you know, little puns and quirks just in here as well. Free gift with every tin of spam just over there. <laughs> and then of course you got all the clothing just over here that's branded with Gangster Grind the Ride on just there as well. £25. Swag just on there. The t-shirts £15. Number one jewel thief. Got a bit of a sale going on in here. I do really like the mug actually. £10. Gangster Grind the Ride and it is an embossed mug as well with the colours at the bottom. Got the tumbler as well which is quite nice. There you go. It's a little snow globe just there. I don't remember seeing that before. Is that, is that a new item? I don't think I've seen that. There we go. Thanks to Grindy the Ride with the jewels just in there as well. And yeah, here's some of your little throwbacks look. To some of the older rides. Europe's premier leisure park back in the day just there. There you go. Oh, what have we got going on over here? Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, you look like a man who has a lot of swag. Well, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> this adult-sized hoodie. Oh, wow. look at that. You can showcase exactly how much swag you've got. Yeah. We've got more of them. Hey. The oh. it's too, before when it's too hot, always the T-shirt. It can out. mix between. Yeah. Or you could put that on underneath yeah. this. Like double, double swag. Yeah. There you go. Why not? With the Fantastic. Bag as well. Yeah, yeah everything. Yeah. With the bag. <laughs> all sorts of. You got the bags in here as well. You got all David Walliams books for sale and plenty of swag as well. Oh, yeah. oh. You can also have one of these. <laughs> there you go. Quad swag. Quad swag. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love the interaction in the shop. Mm. And yeah, if you look here in the window, there's loads of other little Easter eggs to other Alton Towers attractions as well that you just walk past at first, but then you're looking here in more detail. Things like. Twilight Tower is just on there. Doom and Sun's down there at the bottom. Of course, that's got a big reference over in Gloomy Wood now with the curse of Alton Manor. But yeah, I do like how quirky it is in here. I love the interaction in there. And you've got to think that ride's been in for, what, three years now? And they've still got a performer in the which shop, is which really is great. Nice to see. It's just interactive for people who are coming off the ride. Yeah, it's lovely. I really think things like that add to the themed areas. It's like the performers that they've got over in Gloomy Wood. I uh, hope they stick around as well, because it really adds to the experience. Yeah, I'd like to hope so. It's just that interaction part, which is great to see. Yeah, definitely. It helps upsell some items in the shop as well. Exactly. Good fun. Uh, anyway, in terms of shops, that's it for this side of the park. Because um, like I say, there's nothing down in Dark Forest. I still I think that area of the park would benefit from a shop. Um, like there used to be two and then they got rid of them both. Um, but what we're going to do now is head down towards Mutiny Bay and of course Wicker Man. And here we are then, down with the Bjornan in the Wicker Man shop just here. Beautiful shop. I'd say it's my favourite theme shop on part this. Loads going on. Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> big bear just there. And yeah, of course you've got this amazing frame just here. £50. But yeah, all the wood around the side be chosen on the top just there as well. And of course, all the emblems down on the bottom. Yeah, it's really nice. £15 for the bottle. What's great in here is the wooden effect, all the shelves in here. This shop is amazing. You've got all the rocks they've done in here, all the flickering flame effects, the great audio. Shop, Storage box just down there for Wicker Man. That's fantastic. Similar to the one we saw for the Smiler. The Wicker Man one. Really good. Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. Wicker Man jacket just here. Obviously, we saw that. Of in Towers Trading, but yeah, you can get quite a few of the Wicker Man items Medal. in Towers Trading, but it's the full selection down here. The medals are great. They are good. Yeah, a good way of kind of, you know, if kids are scared to go on the rides, you can say, oh, you can go on and we'll get you a medal, <laughs> which is always nice. There's that snow globe down there as well. £22. I like that one. It's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, how it's got Big Bob just on there as well. And yeah, what's different about this shop, it's actually a one way shop, so when you come off the ride, you kind of follow the pathway down through the shop itself just here, which is very different. Yeah, all the music, I love the frames. Obviously you can just put your on-ride photo in there if you wanted to and do something else, a pattern around the side or, you know, family photos, that sort of thing. Single duvet set just up there as well. Even the Wicker Man pens are quite nice, actually. The ballpoint pens with Big Bob on there. I still think Wicker Man is the best investment that Alton Towers have put in since Nemesis, agree. in my opinion. I love oh, it is a brilliant ride. Of course, five years of Wicker Man this year. Monkeys down here again. <laughs> Little cheeky monkeys. Yeah, they're quite nice, these, aren't they? We saw them in trading, but yeah, they're very good. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, they're nice, the scarves, aren't they, down there? We've got any pricing on there? Oh, there we go, £12. And the gloves, £10 down there. All the flickering flame effects in here. More clothing just over here. Of course, we saw a lot of this down in trading. Of course, all available here in the shop. And I still think it's nice actually buying the Ride Specific merch from the shop itself for that ride. Yeah, I love this effect all around here. And of course, the huge wicker structure in here as well, which does look amazing, all the flickering effect. Yeah, you can easily miss this and walk past it, but it, it is amazing. Uh, it is really impressive inside this shop. With your clothing around here. Mini yeah, it's nice. Obviously, a lot of kids, you know, might not be able to go on the ride, but they can still be part of it. Fifteen pound. I think that's quite a good price, really. It's interesting. Would that fit someone who's one point two in height? You know, it's hard. It's hard to know, isn't it? Like maybe that's age three to four. So. Yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? it? Depends how tall they are at that age, I guess. If the one point two to go on, this is quite nice with the flame effect on the front just there, and obviously with the the pockets just on the front. Great ambience in here. Oh, the little mini ones. It's fourteen pound. That's really good. Yeah, that is, and when I you think, think with your twenty percent off as well, I think that's a really good price. Yeah, really not that bad at all. We continue on here in the Wickerman shop. I do like this effect. All the candles. You don't realise you just walk past it quite quickly, but there's a lot of detailing inside this shop. Obviously, you've got the big head up there that a lot of you don't see. There's actually another one on the other side by the photo point, but you don't often see it because obviously it's hiding right on the top. But it's a great piece of theming, that is. Posters. I'm not too sure how much they are, though, because there's no The problem. posters are fantastic. It's yeah, I do that. really like them. The promotional images just there. We've got the T-shirt, which is an actual picture of the ride, £20, which is good, with the fire effects on there, of course. And then, as we mentioned, it's five years of Wicker Man, and I feel like one of these has got to be purchased this year um, by me, because I've got some of the wood um, from when the ride opens, and I do really like these. Of course, it's made from that GCI wood, that they used to build the ride with, uh, with the shaping of it on there. It is fantastic and really nice how it's all engraved. Five years of igniting your senses. I think that's great merch. It's nice, isn't it? Really yeah, good. I really like that. I think one of them will have to be purchased, especially with me having quite a few Wickerman items in the collection. And look at this just here. You can get the huge Wickerman sculpture just here. Three thousand five hundred pounds for that. So <laughs> a lot of money. But we have asked in the past, and you do get your annual pass discount on there if you did want to purchase that. I don't think I will be purchasing it, but it's a very nice item. I did prefer the original one they had there. You know, this is a, the second one. They did actually sell the original one from 2018 in here. Somebody did buy it, and I think they got their annual pass discount on it from what I was told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. Love this shop though, like all the flickering. And, yeah, it, it's great in here, it really is. Brilliant theming. The bags down there. Of course, a lot of these items. The vest down there, I didn't see that in Towers Trading. No, I didn't either. Did you the vest? £20. £20 pound for your wicker man. Oh, vest. <laughs> you can't have it anymore. Charlotte's having that one. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? There you go, it's the wicker man shop. And of course, you come outside, you see wicker man himself just over there. There he is. Right there. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's a brilliant shop, that is. My favourite on the park for all the theming and immersion. But right next door, you've also got the Mutiny Bay shop just around here, so we're going to check that out now. And here it is, right around the corner, the Mutiny Bay shop. So yeah, let's go inside and have a look at what there is. Of course, this is also at the exit to Shark Bay Reef by Sea Life as well. So lots of fishy items in here. Here we are inside then, and yeah, this is one of the places that's got one of the personalised souvenir machines. We mentioned these at the start in Towers Trading. Yeah, you can find them in here. This shop's got a lot of generic kind of stuff, what you can find in a lot of places. Obviously, you know, a lot of animal plushies and stuff like that in here. Like the XL Penguin plush for £40 Not in there. Not just any animal plushies. Look at this giant stingray. There you go. This large black grey, £24.50. Look at that octopus in the ceiling. Whereabouts? Oh, he's there. There you go. Big octopus. Crabs there. I, I do like this effect in here, though. They've got the screen just behind and the fish coming past. But yeah, a lot of kind of generic stuff in here and quite a lot of sea life stuff that you can find at all the sea life centres, not just here at Alton Towers. <laughs> nice. Seahorse. Oh, how much is he? There you go. £24. £24. With a large seahorse. 
he's definitely got the largest plush selection on park in here so if you are looking for plushies then yeah this is the place you can get the otters there as well i quite like the small otter for nine pound just there small otter i like the walrus i do hey, oh. you just walk past him is that it's only eight pound he's that, surely he's not eight pound eight pounds. That seems, that's quite cheap that's good price, get your past discount it? like six oh, pounds yeah. something yeah not too bad pick and mix available in here as well and of course it's in quite a few of the shops not all of them but quite a few well we've got just two shops remaining now one of those in katanga canyon and the other one is of course at the curse at alton manor in gloomy wood but it's quite funny really because this side of the park has got lots of shops very close to each other and on the other side not as many at all i think they do need to rectify that in my opinion yeah, I think they could do with a few more shops to be honest definitely but yeah let's head up this way and we're going to have a look inside katanga cargo great shop this one some very quirky items and here it is, Katango Cargo Company Shop. And yeah, I love that sign. It's one of my favorite signs on park, actually, which is great. Obviously, the shops do sell a range of ice creams, that sort of thing. And also, as well, they've got fridges where they sell uh, bottled drinks as well, slushies and things like that. Yeah, those are plushies in here. Yeah, they have some real quirky stuff. Got dream catchers just over here, as you can see. It's very quiet. Oh, there we go. The audio's kicked in. <laughs> it must have been the real loop. There we go, selection of dream catchers. Obviously not really Alton Towers branded. Um, but yeah, quite a lot of unique things in here. XL plush. And there we go, Charlotte's got a maracas just over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice, aren't they? I like how they sell all this kind of stuff. Yeah, I love all these items here. Obviously fits with the theme of this area, which is based around an African settlement. I do really like what they've done with it all. You see all the prices up there, nice and clearly displayed, some little drums. <laughs> very quirky in here isn't it yeah. I feel like this is a new soundtrack in here actually as well which is really good it's like the jungle in here snakes and everything up in the roof yeah this is definitely a new soundtrack you've got some nice socks there Charlotte so cute, hey I love it of course you've got the choo choo shirts just here as well ten pounds there you go and also the hoodies that they've got there as well and the hoodie's priced at £25. You also got the runaway train one there as well with a nice pattern on. As you can see just there, RMT Mining Co. I like this new music in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's great to see Katanga having a refresh. And we've left Katanga Canyon now and made our way here to the very atmospheric gloomy wood for a look inside our final shop. Attic of Antiquities, quality goods. Of course, this is the newest shop. It used to be Spooks R Us, but yeah, as you can see, it's been rethemed now to fit in with the curse at Alton Manor. It's a great shop, all the cobwebs, around the ceiling, all the lighting. Yeah, you've actually got some curse at Alton Manor branded fudge there. I love quality cream fudge. Three pounds. My favorite. Lots of sweeties in here as well. Of course, you can get drinks, ice creams, that sort of thing. Yeah, some really nice little touches in here. Of course, sort of a lot of interactive elements inside here as well. All the dolls, they've got these little sensors that set off different effects. Small bag, five pounds. Yeah, we mentioned this in our review. Check it out if you haven't already seen it. But yeah, these are actually off the back of the old jewel ride cars. Pick up sticks. I love this soundtrack so much. It gives me goosebumps. And of course we've got the mug just here. I reckon there is going to be a, a proper mug, as I would say, on the way. I know it is a proper mug, but an embossed one coming in the future. But yeah, they're very nice still. What they've got just down there, eight pounds. Then we've got the hoodie, embroidered again. This is nice. I really yes. like this. Um, for we got 35. 35 pounds just on there. Selection of pens, magnets, the book. Yeah, quite nice, nine pounds. Compact mirror, £12 just here. Yeah, I like this sort of stuff. And of course, with the mirrors, it fits with the ride as well, without giving too much away if you don't want spoilers. Let's get a t shirt just over here as well. Priced at £18. The Cursor Alton Manor. I do love the logo, and obviously with the towers on there as well. They have done a great job. And you've got the grey ones here, obviously, the black and the grey that are available. £25 for those just there. Really nice. Big spider in there as well. It used to be in Jewel. I do like the knockers, actually. <laughs> there we are. Very heavy knockers. Here are Alton Towers. <laughs> Gargles. These are a bit like the statues down in Haunted Hollow. Yeah, but he's smiling. Yeah, he is smiling. Very nice, though. 
skulls and lots of other items, very quirky things, spirit boards, stuff that doesn't relate to the Curse of Alton Manor really, but it's just got like a spooky theme, the totem skull just up there. It is a great shop, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot going on. I, just, I think there needs a little bit more in here. More merch for the rise, you know, and I think that will come. I really do, yeah, it is great in here. Of course, it's a fantastic photo op with Emily just over here as well. And if you come up close to her and stand here, follow her, her eyes actually follow you about, and then you get a, a jump scare, which is really cool. And of course, you've got the big seat there as well. <laughs> great photo op. And one final little Easter egg to see here in the shop is they've got this bookcase, and as you can see, all the books piled up, featuring lots of other Merlin rides. You've got Wicker Man, Vampire, Haunted House, Wicked Witch's Haunt, Old Dark Ride from Thorpe Park, Jewel, Haunted Hollow, Doom and Sons, Hex, and of course at the top, the Curse and Alton Manor. Well, there we go. That concludes our merchandise tour for 2023 here at the Alton Towers Resort. Lots to see and loads of new merch this year. I hope we've helped you all see what you can buy when you come to the resort. That's the thing, you know, it always gives you a lot of help seeing what there is in the shops. It gives you a bit of an idea on the prices, what there is to see. And I've got to say, I think the merchandise this year is probably the best it's been for a few years, in my opinion. I think they've got opinion. some really nice bits this year, which is nice to see. Especially the clothing. I feel like, you know, now are gone are a lot of the print on things that we used to have. Yeah, the quality is just not that good on those. Yeah, so it's so much better now. They've gone for quality merchandise, higher prices, but better quality. It's going to last, last longer exactly. uh, with all the embroidered things. Obviously, there's still a few print on bits, but not too many. Uh, and then along with that as well, getting around, of course, seeing some of the new merchandise for the Curse at Alton Manor. Uh, hopefully, there's going to be new bits. In fact, we're assured that there's going to be some more merch on the way yeah, for I'd that. Yeah, like I hope so. I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring in. Yeah, apparently, there's this big doll's house that's going to be for sale, so we'll definitely That'll come and check really that out. Nice. And some other bits on the way as well. But uh, yeah, of course, thanks for joining us. We are going to be filming a food tour around Alton Towers as well. Normally we do that straight away. However, we've been told there's going to be some updated menus in the next couple of weeks. So we want to hold uh, yeah, we're waiting until for that. those come in. Yeah, we normally do it straight away. But so we've been told today there's going to be some new food menus so coming in. Off. We'll wait until they're ready so we can bring you the latest and most up-to-date information as we always do here on Theme Park Worldwide. But check out our opening day vlog, of course, with all the updates, getting back on some rides. Along with that, our full review of the Curse at Alton Manor and of course we're going to be doing a CBeebies tour very soon Stay tuned uh, for that festival one. of thrills just around the corner yeah, as well that's not too far away the either. smiler takeover so we're looking forward to that but uh, there we go another great visit to Alton Towers thank you very much for watching and that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you in the next video